Here's how she's coming along. Getting that kneeling position in place. And I'm starting to kind of work on her back a bit. Okay, I'm gonna put a corset on this doll. So my first step is to kind of figure out the shape I want it to have and draw it in. So here's what I have, is just a little idea. My only concern is that this black epoxy sculpt is turning my hands black too. Okay, and now it's not super exact right now because I figure I'm gonna be doing a lot of adjusting. I think I'll just have it be two halves. Because I haven't ever done this one before. <laughs> I thought it would be fun. Okay, this might be way too thick, we'll see. That's why I'm having it be smaller than what I want eventually. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands to see if that helps and then try putting it on because I just don't want my doll all dirty too. This is some, just a craft sheet. That it looks like still kind of stuck to. So next time I'll do a craft sheet with Vaseline. Since I sculpted her tummy, I want that to show. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to repeat that for the other side and see how it goes. So this is epoxy sculpt, which is a two-part resin that when you mix the two parts together, it turns hard. I have about 30 minutes to an hour to work with this stuff before it hardens. Well, it'll take about four hours to completely harden, but it'll be so it's not workable anymore. Oh, cool, look at that. <laughs> I can rub it and it totally looks like leather because of that shine. I think I need to give her some panties so I'm not distracted by what will be happening down there. Let's see. So I just cut a triangle shape. And then I will peel it off. Kind of, woo! I'm flying all over. Whenever I use epoxy sculpt, I try to use metal tools because they're much easier to clean up. And this 
Epoxy will also thin with water. That's gonna look cool. I'm using my tool to cut it because it has a blunt end and that way I know I'm not cutting the doll. water. Now her feet aren't fully sculpted because they're going to be inside boots. So I didn't want to do sculpting on them if they were just going to get hidden anyway. And this is going to end up being some sort of skirt. Since that black just leaks like crazy when it gets wet, I'm gonna use Vaseline as the smoother. Okay, at least we can see where we're heading a little bit better. All right, so I added some straps by just cutting out some slices of clay. And then I pressed them down and into her skin with some Vaseline. And then I'm just kind of neatening up these edges just a little bit. I also have been adjusting how this looks. And then I cut this out so it was more the shape I wanted. And then 
drawing in some lines with this tool. And then I'll need to go over them with a little bit of water on a brush. But I love the straps, they look cute, huh? Yay! And then on her back, I wanna bring it up back here too, so maybe be down, I'm not sure, I'll decide. All right, getting a basic shape for the back, and then we'll adjust it as necessary. Now I'll trim it. 